Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the question of the day. The delayed ripening tomato was created by a biotechnology Z and you have to choose the correct answer. So whether it is uh, altered gene technology or silenced gene technology, replaced gene or relocated gene. Genetically modified tomato was the first um, product that were approved for human consumption by FDA. And this was long, long time ago in 1994. And the name of this cultivar was a Flavor Saver. And basically uh, what we see on this picture, we see that one of the tomato is rotten, another is in good shape. And this is due to altered function of one of the enzymes that is called polygalactonase or P. G for short and basically what this enzyme doing. This enzyme uh, helps uh, tomato to soften its uh, skin so it would be more attractive for uh, animals that would eat this fruit and would disperse its seeds on the large distances. So this is a helpful enzyme but for us, for humans, uh, of course, this means that we cannot transport such uh, tomatoes for long distances. And for example, here in Hawaii, we don't have um, tomatoes uh, locally grown. And most of the tomatoes are shipped to us from mainland. So how this is possible that nowadays we are able to ship tomatoes thousands of kilometers uh, and still uh, tomatoes would be in good shape. And this is possible due to the fact that uh, tomatoes nowadays are not allowed to ripen on the branch but would be plucked uh, while still green and would be shipped and would turn red after application of the acylene gas that would allow it to um, change color to red but uh, such tomatoes wouldn't be flavorful as uh, we get used to when those tomatoes would ripen on the uh, branch. Now let's uh, return to our genetically modifying technology and imagine here we have some gene and now we see that this is going to be double-stranded DNA and within this transcription bubble we would see uh, messenger RNA transcribed that would code for this enzyme. Now imagine that on the uh, strand of the DNA that is going to be a template strand of the DNA we would see cytosine, cytosine, guanine, uh, thymine, thymine here. So what uh, sequence would be of the messenger RNA and cytosine would be paired with guanine, so guanine, guanine, cytosine and adenine, adenine here. So this is going to be bases that would uh, make a base pairing. So uh, cytosine with guanine and adenine with thymine. And what is going to be sequence of the other strand of the DNA? We call this strand of the DNA coding sequence because uh, sequence is going to be the same as of the messenger RNA. So going to be G, G, C, A, A. So now you see this is uh, template strand of the DNA and this is going to be sequence of the messenger RNA and this is going to be sequence of the coding strand of the DNA, hence the name. Because you see sequence is the same as of uh, messenger RNA. So what is the technology? Technology was pretty simple. So once again, I have forgotten to put um, prime end here and three prime end here. Uh, messenger RNA always grows from five prime end to three prime end. So now imagine uh, that a scientist uh, developed such a technique and made a gene that would be uh, complementary to this RNA sequence. What does it mean? That means that uh, another artificial gene 
would produce uh, messenger RNA uh, that would have also 5 prime end here, 3 prime end here. Messenger RNA always grows from 5 to 3 prime end, but the sequence would be thymine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, cytosine. So let's take a look what would happen if both this sequence and this sequence would simultaneously be expressed. So we would have a sequence 5 prime end and guanine, guanine, cytosine, adenine, adenine, and 3 prime end here. And also this artificial sequence would be expressed that is uh, would be corresponding to this sequence. So we would have 5 prime end here. And sequence would be thymine, thymine, uh, guanine, cytosine, cytosine, and 3 prime end. So now you see what have happened. This messenger RNA would have a sequence that would correspond to the sequence of this uh, artificial messenger RNA and they would make a double-stranded RNA. So, uh, function of this uh, messenger RNA would be cancelled by uh, this interfering RNA. And that means that uh, this messenger RNA wouldn't be able uh, to use uh, any more bioribosome in order to make a protein, to make enzyme. And this double-stranded messenger RNA would be degraded by the mechanism of the uh, cell because uh, it would cons consider such structure as viral uh, RNA because uh, in the cell we do not have double-stranded RNA. Double-stranded RNA only can be of the virus so uh, our uh, mechanism of protection of the cells and uh, of the plants too would degrade such double-stranded RNA. And this would lead to greatly reduced amounts of this PG enzyme, so it would be produced in large amounts, but also corresponding uh, messenger RNA would be produced also in large amounts and would cancel the function of this um, messenger RNA. So even if few would be left, and uh, ribosome would be able to attach and make uh, enzyme, quantity of the enzyme in the cell would be greatly reduced. And this enzyme, as I said, degrades pectin. This is protein, structural protein of the uh, cell walls of the plants. So uh, fruit becomes soft and uh, flavorful and uh, would be attractive for animals to eat it and of course to us humans but because now uh, amount of this enzyme would be greatly reduced shelf life of um, tomato would be also increased and we basically can uh, pluck these tomatoes when tomatoes would be ripen and uh, would be flowerful and still would be able to transport it for up to 40 days and we would have uh, tomatoes that would be more testful. Uh, we would reduce uh, quantity of the lost tomatoes due to spoilage. So as you see this technology allows us uh, to get better product from every point of view. And uh, as you see the correct answer would be answer B. So we silence uh, one messenger RNA with another complementary messenger RNA. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.